what's up guys, this is Technicorn here, um, and I'm bringing you a little vlog and a little bit of an update. So the topic for today is going to be um, the Call of Duty games and my thoughts about each of them. First of all, a little update, um, my new capture card has been ordered, it is a Ava Media C875, um, it's really good. Um, I'll probably do an unboxing video on that, and I might link it in the channel, in the description below. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm also going to be doing some PC gaming as well, like Minecraft, say, um, and some other little games or something. Um, yeah, so I'll start recording Call of Duty Festival on the weekend coming up, hopefully. Um, yeah, probably just, like, gameplay or something. So, let's get into the, um, Call of Duty game. So, the first game was, that I've got at least, was Call of Duty Black Ops. This is a hardened edition and that's a normal edition. Um, yeah. So, Black Ops was. It's the oldest game I have of Call of Duty. Um, despite its age, it is a really solid game. Um, the highlight, of course, is the zombies. Um, yeah, it's the zombies, definitely. Um, a lot of people just play zombies on it. I myself used to pretty much only play zombies. I was only around level 20, I believe, on multiplayer, and I used to just play zombies. The zombies is a really good game mode. By far one of the best game modes. The game is made by Treyarch and Activision, as you can see down there. Um, and they've done a really solid job. Now, the multiplayer is actually really solid as well. It's... Um, I find it decent. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either, but they've done a good job there. So, but definitely the main aspect of Call of Duty Black Ops is zombies, and it's very popular throughout the Call of Duty community. Lots of gameplays on it, lots of people um, play it, um, and still now, quite a few years after it was developed and put out, a lot of people still play it. The second game that I had was Modern Warfare 2. This is created by uh, Infinity Ward Activision and Sledgehammer Games didn't participate in this one, they participated in Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, this game is probably in my eyes the best sniping Modern Warfare, uh, sorry, sniping Call of Duty. The Intervention and the Barrett 50 Cow. Um, they're probably the best snipers in almost all of the Call of Duties. And they both developed from Modern Warfare 2, like the Modern Warfare 2 Barra 50 version. Um, now, the multiplayer is really solid. All the assault rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns, LMGs, everything about it is really solid. All the guns, all the maps are really solid, really good maps. Um, the campaign I have played, and there's a photo there, and it is really good. I mean, I've played it on PC and PS3, um, and it's really good. I finished it on, I think, the middle one, and I found it really good. It was a really good game. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it, and I still play it now, and hopefully get some montages with some clips from it as well. The next game was Modern Warfare 3. Now this was created by Sledgehammer Games, Activision, and Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward, sorry, down there. Um, this game was probably one of my favourite games. It got me started in my Call of Duty career. I This was the first Call of Duty I owned, um, and it was really good. It, was, it wasn't too futuristic, so it wasn't set in Black Ops. Call of Duty Ghost Time, and it wasn't set in Modern Warfare 2, um, Black Ops 1 time. It was in the modern era, I felt. It was the most modern game we had, without being too modern, and this is what I found really good, and really, I guess you could say addictive. The multiplayer was really good, the campaign was amazing, and survival mode, it was actually really good, but it wasn't as good as Zombies. So, that's, yeah, that's one thing. Um, the survival mode was, with now a new DLC added in that to it, it, it got a bit better, um, but still it just wasn't really doing it for me. I still played it a bit and screwed around. I got to max level, which was 50, I believe, and I got around, I think, 40 on 
resistance, and that was the highest. Um, but yeah, so this game was probably one of my favourite games. The next game we have was Black Ops 2. This was created by Treyarch and Activision, as you can see there. This came back with the new zombie mode, and this zombies is amazing, like, it's got so many new features added to it, it's got, um, um, new weapons, it's got old weapons, it's got, like, Barrett 50 from Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 time, it's got 5.7s, and a lot of older guns, it's, of course, got the M1911 and the Mustang and Sally, which is good. Um, so, yeah, that's the zombies version, the multiplayer, um, also is amazing. It's got some of the best sniper rifles, not the best, but a lot of the best, really good balance of maps, um, and guns. And then we've got the campaign version, which was a solid campaign, it wasn't, I mean, I don't really play campaign that much, so for me it doesn't really do it, but it, this one I found interesting. I thoroughly enjoyed the campaign in this game. Um, and now reinventing Nuketown to Nuketown 2025. Um, as you can see there, Nuketown 2025. It was really good to play. Um, it is still my favourite map in any Call of Duty. And I love it. So, that's Black Ops 2. Now, the next game and the final game I got was Call of Duty Ghosts. As you can see there. I've got the hardened edition. Um, and there's a the backing. This game was, of course, created by Infinity Ward and Activision. Um, Sledgehammer Games did not help in this, as they are creating their own game, which you may have heard, Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty, sorry, Advanced Warfare, um, which I think is going to be a pretty good game. But this game, to me, was a letdown in the Call of Duty series. I don't know why it was a letdown, but it really was. Um... The maps weren't balanced, the guns weren't doing it for me. Um, they got too in-depth and in-detailed with it. It just really wasn't working for me for some reason. The sniping wasn't good. The campaign, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, there are some really cool features in it though, like squad points. And you can go play squad... Um, what is it? You can play squads online, so you, it's your squad versus another squad, kind of... So it's basically just a normal game mode, except you're versing five other bots and one solid enemy, which is an actual person, and then they're versing five other bots and me. And you can earn actual points for um, online. And it was a, a really good way to earn points. But that was the only upside to it, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that, this game is my worst game I've owned in the Call of Duty series. Also, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, that was a really good game, I used to, I, I only played it on the PC, but that had one of the best sniper rifles as well, the M40A3, um, and of course the Barrett, which was amazing in that game, but the M4A3, OA33, was an amazing gun, and really good sniper rifle, um, also... We've got the upcoming Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And by the trailers and looks of things, it's going to be really cool with the new exosuit and the possible perks that you unlock in the exosuit. So the perks are in the exosuit, and then you have to unlock them or level up and rank up. There are some, some things I don't really want in it, though, like invisibility, how it turns invisible. And if there is wall climbing, I'm hoping it's only on certain parts of the map where you can wall climb. Or choose to go in the building to go up, so you could climb up the wall and be exposed, but get up there real quick. Or you could go up the stairs, be more safe, but get up there a lot slower. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really good, Advanced Warfare. I haven't seen any snipers in it yet, so hopefully there'll be some leaked leak gameplay of that coming up soon. Or some proper gameplay. Um, yeah, so in regards to this video, I hope you enjoy and hopefully I might upload some... Minecraft or something later, um, do some other cool videos hopefully, do an, do an unboxing video of the Ava Media Capture Card, and um, I'll just show you my setup quickly, if people are wondering, I've just got my TV there with my PS3, it's kind of a bit out of order at the moment, Call of Duty games there, 
outside. Um, also, my setup is here. Yeah, it's all over the place. Hard drive, mouse, chargers. I've got like two laptops that I use, which are out in that room. So I've got my school one that goes here and my home one that goes here, which I'll do gaming and that on and editing and that. And my homework stuff is there. But yeah, so that's there. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will hopefully be uploading a lot more lately after I get my catch card. Um, I've got fraps and that, so we'll probably do some games. And also this catch card, the Ava Media, can plug into the PC, I'm pretty sure, and you can actually record PC gaming as well. So it'll be a lot smoother, more FPS, a bit better than fraps, if I can. So yeah, hopefully that'll work. And also, if you know any really good software, editing software, sorry, for like montages and shit, um, just let me know, hook me up with links and that. Hopefully I can download them. The one I use for like just combining videos together is just Windows Movie Maker. Really simple. One video, drag the next, you can cut. It's really good. Um, yep, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so until next time, the perfected one, signing out here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.